We're fortunate here at Whitehead Railway Museum to have three locomotives of the Great Northern <coughs> Railway Ireland and there are three different generations of engines all built for pulling express trains between Dublin and Belfast. And this is the earliest of them, number 131, which was built in 1901. Now in 1901 that railway link was a very important connection between Belfast and Dublin. Nowadays a lot of people would do that journey in their own car. But in 1901 cars were very, very new, very expensive, not terribly reliable, the roads weren't great, and to cap it all, they were limited by law to a speed of 12 miles per hour. So, if you wanted to travel by car from Dublin to Belfast, if you were wealthy enough to do it, if you could go non-stop the whole way, which you couldn't, it would still take you over eight hours to get there. Realistically, you'd probably spend two days doing that. And as you did so, you'd be listening to the trains whistling past you in both directions, because at the same time, the Great Northern Railway with engines like this was doing the same journey in 2 hours and 45 minutes. Now this design, the Q-Class, first appeared in 1899 and there were a total of 13 of them built. They were originally green in colour and they had a brass nameplate on the side and they were all named after characters of classical mythology. So there was an Apollo and a Neptune and a Cyclops and a Cerberus and Number 131 was named Uranus after the Greek god of the sky. In the 1910s, new management of the GNR decided to change the look of the engines, so they all lost their names and they were black from then onwards. They were a big step up for the Great Northern from the designs that had come before. They were faster, more powerful, and they allowed shorter journey times and heavier trains to be pulled. That said, in 1913, they decided to upgrade again to a new class of locomotive, the S-Class. We have one of those here as well. And it was again more powerful and incorporated more advanced technology and it really started to take over the Belfast to Dublin route. So after that date the Q-Class were more normally seen on some of the minor routes such as uh, the lines west from Portadown through Clonus and Oma and to Derry Stroke London Derry. And that really was where they did most of their work for the rest of their lives. Starting in 1919, the Great Northern decided to improve these locomotives. They brought them into their works at Dundalk and heavily rebuilt them. And effectively what they were doing was incorporating new technology that had been introduced in the S-Class into the Q-Class. They received a much larger boiler, it's called a superheated boiler, and the valves which control the flow of steam into the cylinders were replaced. They replaced slide valves which, with much more efficient piston valves. So that really gave them a whole new lease on life and they were designated instead of Q, they were now QS, small s for superheated. At some stage, possibly as part of that same rebuilding process, the railway strengthened the frames of the Q class. They were originally only one inch thick and that made them flexible and prone to cracking so they were strengthened by riveting on additional plates to make them thicker. You can still see the join today where that was done. To avoid the same problem in the S class the frames were built much deeper in the vertical direction in order to make them stiffer and that's still one of the key differences you can see today between the QS and the S. By all accounts the QS was a very successful design of locomotive the new boiler had a good reputation for being an efficient maker of steam and that made it popular with its crews and meant that the QS kept working for the Great Northern Railway right up until it ceased to exist in 1958. The Great Northern Railway was split up and nationalised and number 131 ended up working for Chorus on Fire Erin and she continued pulling trains up until 1963 when she was finally withdrawn. CIE didn't scrap 131, they preserved her and in 1972 she went on public display at Dundalk on a plinth next to the station there. In 1984 she was acquired by a group of railway enthusiasts who wanted to restore her to operational condition, which sadly didn't work out. In 2003 she arrived here at Whitehead and was acquired by the Railway Preservation Society of Ireland. In 2014 we received funding from the European Regional Development Fund through Grow South Antrim who funded the restoration of number 131 to operational mainline condition. So that was done by our engineering company, Heritage Engineering Ireland, and they really got her from being a wreck in multiple pieces into an operational engine within a year, which was an astonishing achievement. In March 2015, we made a test run with her to Carrick Ferguson back, but that was with a borrowed tender from locomotive number 171. 
Since then, we've been working on 131's own tender, and that's been funded by donations from the public and from our members, and that's been very heavily rebuilt, um, basically from running board level upwards, it's, it's nearly all new stuff. So that's now complete. The engine has been repainted into the livery she had in 1920, which is this black with the red lining. That's the livery she had when she first received this boiler. 131 is making a series of further test runs between Whitehead and Belfast, and her performance is very promising so far, and we're looking forward to bringing her into passenger service soon, and after that to travelling all over the railway network with her for what will hopefully be many, many years to come.